Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the legendary teams in the East Bay, one of the best teams in the East Bay, Peacemakers. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's introduce ourselves first. Jerome Harden, <laughs> Ryan, Speedy, Al, um, I don't have a nickname yet. So. Okay, okay, okay. So you, you guys are obviously the three, uh, three out of the ten uh, players on your team, so let's shout out to the rest of the players real quick. Point shooters, Wilson, Don, Eddie Boy, and Gino. Gino. Okay. We got uh, our bigs will be uh, Kelvin, big, big Boy Mark. Uh, who else are we missing? Ralph, of course. Then our role player, NJ. Okay. And Rudy. Okay, and uh, did, did, did you guys say Wilson already? That's my yes, boy, sir. man. Okay, big boy Will. All right, so um, so let's talk about the history of the Peacemakers real quick, man. I mean, how did you guys come to be? Started off as a fam. Um, I met Ryan through through like Philcom when we we're not Philcom. What was it? Hey, FABL. Well. Yeah. Um, we were like thirteen. And, uh, Ralph was fifteen. I was seventeen. And then we just met up at Logan one day. Started hooping for like five, ten years, and we just built that chemistry. We started building other people, bring them into the league. And then uh, that's how we made Peacemaker. As you can see, we have one of our finest rookies right oh, now. Oh, one of the rooks the right Peacemaker there. Team. Al. Okay. All right, all right. So um, so let's talk about the dynamics of the team, how, you, um, how it kind of ended up being. Um, obviously, you guys have speed. That's, I mean, that is something that, that's obvious. And shooting. Um, but let's talk about the other dynamics of the team. Makes up this team is everyone's a part of it. There's, like I said, there's no superstars, no one man team. This is a team, basically. Okay. All right. So, but I mean, but other dynamics like you guys play like amazing defense, team defense, especially. You guys create a lot of turnovers. Um, is, is defense obviously is that like a focus for you guys? Well, that's what makes us a team. Like we we know how our players play. On defense, we trust the rebounders. Every single rebound we get, they know what to do with it to pass it up to a guard. We're basically like a running gun team. Yeah, but even like even like your um, your your half court setup. I mean, with Ralph, Jerome switching high low high low with Big Boy down there, you guys work t tremendously well in a half court set as well. Do you agree? Yeah, it's like we have our. One of like top like our rebounders, they're the one that's call making all the calls, like where the ball is, where we need to be. So we basically listen. We know who our teammates are. We know where to go at the right time. So okay, yeah, I, I would definitely say Ralph, uh, your brother, is definitely uh, one of the anchors on your team because I mean he he his IQ is high. He rebounds extremely well, and he knows where to be on the court. Um, who else uh, anchors your team? I think our, uh, I think our three point shooters is what benefits our team. Um, Eddie Boy, we got Eddie Boy, Gino, um, Don, um, Wilson, you, Wilson, me, of course. Um, Even our big man, Al. big man. Everyone Al. shoot threes. We yeah. Like rain. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, everyone shoots. Everyone knows what to do after that. You shoot a ball, you rebound. Okay, okay. So let's talk about the um, the health of the team right now. You guys are facing. Um, key injuries, um, you're coming off of one, you're still playing well, but uh, Ralph, he's, uh, he's still injured. I mean, uh, what will that do to the dynamics of the team if he's unable to play in the showcase? Everybody just got to step up. That's the key. Step up, be physical, take charges. Every possession counts on that team. It's one okay. Play at a time. All right. Well, what do you guys hope to take out of the showcase? There's going to be a lot of great teams. We've got some pro-am teams. You've got a, a lot of teams in your same division. And we have CYO and AAU teams that are going to come up and, and watch your games. Uh, what are you guys, first of all, looking to take out of the showcase? And what do you guys hope to prove? It's just like we've been doing every single game. It's just like it's our first. Yeah, it's a showcase, but... We play every single game like it's our last. Okay. And we're the, we want to prove everybody that we're best in the East Bay, and that's what we're going to bring to the showcase. Okay. 
Okay, so how much is uh, trying to get uh, the respect from your peers? How much is that? Does that mean anything to you or? Oh yeah, come come from a team that wins, blues, gets championship. Being in a league and like teams that respect you, it's like the main thing that you want to be out there for. Right. Like, right. Knowing the drums experience, he knows how it is. Me, I'm just learning it now, and we want to bring it down to our other players, our youngest players, what to be in a winning team is, just because you're a winning team, you're the best, you want to actually be like, show like a good positive attitude to that. Right. Okay, so let's talk about like your your own personal um, growth as a basketball player. Uh, let, let's start from when you first growing up. I mean, who are the players, either in the playground or in within your family, that kind of help usher the game of basketball into your lives. You want to start, Ryan? Uh, well, basketball has been in my life starting from my dad. Like, he hooped in the Philippines, then it was just there that I wanted to hoop, too. It also reflected with my brother and Jerome, just watching them as a little kid, not be able to play with them because I might get hurt, but they gave me a chance. When it all started, then from there, we just started running people. Okay. Okay, Jerome. I mean, who was it? Who was the guy or the person or people that ushered basketball into your life? Uh, honestly, uh, from day one when I was born, uh, my mom used to take me to my uncle's game. Um, he's been playing. He got so much trophies, uh, and I just adapt to it. Um, I know. Uh, I don't know. Basically, basically, we just you I adapt just to it. Uh -huh. I adapt to it, and uh, I got people as my team, and then we just end up combining, and this is Peacemaker. That's okay. what we do. All right, uh, let's, how about you? I mean, who kind of, like, put a basketball in your hand, man, um, and said, dribble this thing, dribble it right? Uh, my grandpa and my uncle. Okay. Um, you want to shout them out names? I mean. Uh, my grandpa, well, his name's Alfonso. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was my uncle's name too. Okay. <laughs> Growing up, um, they told me when he was young, he used to ball. Okay. So I kind of wanted to grow up. I looked up to him. I wanted to play just like him. Okay. And okay. All my cousins, they want to play soccer. I wanted to be different. I wanted to pick up the basketball and start kicking. Okay. All and right. And my uncle, he. He all he did was watch about NBA games. I, I mean, he he NBA is Filipino, games. so yeah. I mean that's in our blood, man. Growing up, that's all I watched. Start when I was allowed to play outside. <laughs> back in the Philippines. Wow, the you lived in a bubble, yeah. Al. That's. I mean, I had strict grandparents. Okay. So okay. When I was allowed <laughs> outside, all I did was pick up a ball and kept shooting every day. Okay. Okay. So um. Okay, let's step outside our own family and friends circle. I mean, who are the players that you guys lo love to watch in the NBA, man? That you guys let's start in the '80s, '90s, and the 2000s, man. There's been a lot of great players in those decades, man. So, Ryan, who are the players in the '80s, '90s, and the 2000s that you? '80s, '90s, it yo, has to be the greatest, Michael man, Jordan. man. And from there, you got Kobe Bryant. Okay. And then okay. Those were the two people that I actually watched that I idled so much. Okay. And then... Anybody in 2000? I mean, there's some great players in the 2000s, man. Yeah, Sean Bradley. <laughs> 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 Sean Bradley's in the 90s, fool. Okay. No, I actually, I caught on with uh, Dwayne Wade. Okay. Dwayne All right. Because like, he's, he's a fierce basketball player. He's a shooting guard. Like, everyone's as tall as, taller than him. He's still... Plays with the big guys, you know? There you go, there you go, especially at the rim. Yeah. How about you, Jerome? 80s, 90s? 80s, honestly, who I looked up to was uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, loved his moves, even though if I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, but who I really cherished on defense was uh, Dennis Rodman. I love Dennis Rodman. I like uh, wow. Bruce Bowen. Okay. And those are the players that I cherish. Especially when he kicked... Um, What's that dude's Vince name? Carter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how about you? Uh, I mean, you're a two thousands baby, right? So let's talk. About, so do you do you know anybody in the nineties, in the eighties? Just like the late Bulls. Like when I was last, I've only seen one season from the Bulls, and that was Jordan's last season. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I thought you were going to say AI. I mean, I love AI, oh, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love, I you guys need me to shout out AI. AI, 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 AI. Forgive wanted, these guys. Forgive these guys. I actually wanted, wanted them to beat LA back, back in the finals. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hated the Lakers. Get out of here. Ooh. Hate yeah. is a strong word, bro. Come on, man. Sorry, All right. So, I mean, I respect Kobe. Kobe's probably the best player in our generation. My okay. generation, that is. In your generation. Yeah. Okay. Over LeBron? Yep. Wow. Okay. All good, but that's another discussion for another night, right? So, a hey, holiday scenes are coming around. I mean, it's basically around the corner. Let's shout out some people that we love and care about, man. Shout out to the community. Mom, pops, community, uh, Philippines especially. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Goes out to everybody. Mom, dad, family everywhere. Philippines. Merry Christmas. My mom, my grandparents, my little brother, everybody in the Philippines. Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry okay. Christmas, Justin. Hey, look at thank you Merry very Christmas. much. Uh, hey guys, these are the core people of Peacemaker. There's a few other core people, but hey, you know what? These guys be together for a long time to come and keep uh, winning those championships, brothers. Sabahe, back to back champions, CSB. Let's get it, guys. Good luck. Let's go. Psst, psst. Don't forget to subscribe.